Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a two-way slab. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a slab 3 meter into 4 meter clear in size. The short side should be taken as LX and the long side should be taken as LY. Supported on 300 millimeter thick walls and corners are held down. That means there is upper flow or wall or column above the slab. The live load on the slab is 3 kN per meter square. Use M20 concrete and FE415 steel. FCK is 20 and FOE is 415. First we have to check whether it is a one-way or a two-way slab. For LOE upon LX we will get 1.3 which is less than 2. In this case, it is a two-way slab. Now, we are going to find the thickness of the slab. We have to take the code book IS456, page number 39. For slabs spanning in two directions, the shorter of the two spans should be used for calculating the span to effective depth ratios. The short span is 3 meter. We have to use that. For two-way slabs of shorter spans up to 3.5 meter, our shorter span is 3 meter, it is less than 3.5 meter. The span to overall depth ratios given below may generally be assumed to satisfy vertical deflection limits for loading plus up to 3 kN per meter square. Our live load is only 3 kN per meter square. In this case, we can use these two ratios. From the question, we know that our slab is simply supported slab. For that, the ratio is 35. For high strength deformed bars of grade FE415, the values given above should be multiplied by 0.8. Our FI is 415, so we have to multiply 35 with 0 0.8. In this way, for the effective depth D, we will get 107.14. We can round that to 120 millimeter. Now let us find the overall depth D. This is the rebar in the short side. This is the rebar in the long side. From the center of the rebar in the short side to the top is the effective depth D. This is the clear cover. In the IS code book, we have to open page number 47. In the question, the exposure is not given. We can assume that it is mild. So the clear cover will be 20. For main reinforcement up to 12 mm diameter bar, for mild exposure, the nominal cover may be reduced by 5 mm. I am going to keep the diameter of the bar in the main reinforcement as 10 mm. So we can reduce by 5. 20 minus 5, it will be 15 mm. The clear cover is 15. This distance is this diameter upon 2. We are going to keep the diameter of the bar as 10. So 10 by 2, it will be 5. So 15 plus 5 plus D, we will get the overall depth D. For that, we will get 140 mm. Now we are going to find the effective span. First, let us find that for the short span. In the code book, we have to open the page number 34. According to this class, we have to take the least of these two. The short span is 3 meter. The effective depth is 120 millimeter. We can convert that into meter. 120 upon 1000, it will be 0 0.12. When we add these two, we will get 3.12 meter. Now let us find the center to center of the supports. For that, with the clear span, we have to add the wall thickness. The wall thickness is given in the question as 300 millimeter. We can convert that into meter. We will get 0.3. When we add these two, we will get 3.3. The least of these two is 3.12. So the effective span in the short side will be 3.12 meter. In the similar way, we can find the effective span in the long side that will be 4.12 meter. Now let us find the factored load. 
we need to find the debt load that will be the overall depth d into the unit weight of the concrete which is 25 kilo newton per meter cube the overall depth d is 140 millimeter we can convert that into meter 0 0.14 into 25 we will get 3.5 the live load is given in the question as 3 kilo newton per meter square let us assume the flow finish is 1 kilo newton per meter square when we add these three we will get the total load as 7.5 kilo newton per meter square to find the factored load with 7.5 we have to multiply 1.5 in this way, we will get 11.25. To find W for 1 meter length, we have to multiply this with 1 meter square and meter will be eliminated. So, we will get 11.25 kilo Newton per meter. In the code book, we have to open the page number 91. We have to find the bending moment coefficients. In the question, the condition is given. The corners are held down. In this case, we have to select the case number 9. Four edges discontinuous positive movement at mid span. First, we have to find short span coefficient alpha x. For that, we need to find Ly upon Lx. That is 1.32. 1.32 comes in between 1.3 and 1.4. For both of these, we have to write these two values. Then we can do interpolation this value plus this minus this upon this minus this into 1.32 minus 1.3. For alpha x, we will get 0 0.08. Now we need to find alpha y long span coefficients for all of the values of Ly upon Lx is 0 0.056. Now we are going to find the ultimate movement and shear. Using this formula, we can find Mx. And using this formula, we can find Moy. From the code book, page number 90, you can find these two formulas. Then using this formula, we can find the shear force. In Moy and Mx, the maximum value is 8.76. Using that, we have to apply the check for the effective depth. Using this formula, we can find the effective depth required. Let us see how this formula comes. In this formula, instead of x u max upon d, we have to apply 0 0.48 because our FOE is 415. In this way, we will get this formula. In this formula, let us apply the values. M max v know. We have to apply that in Newton millimeter. D always we have to keep as a thousand. FCK is a twenty. For the required effective depth, we will get fifty-six millimeter, which is less than provided effective depth. So D is enough. We are going to design the reinforcement in the slab. First, let us design for the short span. From the page number ninety-six, we can copy this formula. In the formula, we can apply all of the values. We will get this equation. Solving this equation for AST, we will get 210 millimeter square. Then we have to check for minimum AST. The mild steel reinforcement in either direction in slabs shall not be less than 0.15% of the total cross sectional area. So we need to find 0.12% of BD. We will get 168 millimeter square, but our area is more than that. In this case, we can proceed with this area. We have decided that we would keep 10 millimeter diameter bars. Using this formula, we can find the spacing. Small AST is the area of the cross section of the rebar. Pi d square by 4. D is 10. So this is the area. For the spacing, we will get a 374 millimeter. Spacing should not be more than 300 millimeter. So let us provide 10 millimeter diameter bars at the spacing of 300 millimeter. Now we can find the provided AST, 1000 by the spacing into small AST. We will get a 262 millimeter square. 
Now let us design the reinforcement for the long span. In this formula, we can apply all of the values. The moment will be 6.13 kN meter. Breadth will be 1000 mm. The effective depth will be different. To find the effective depth for the long span, from the center of the rebar in the long span up to the top, we have to find the distance. This diameter we know 10 mm and I am going to keep this bar also as a 10 mm diameter. So half of this diameter is 5 mm. This diameter is 10 mm. So half of this will be 5 mm. So to get this effective depth, we have to subtract 5 and 5 from 120. 120 minus 5 minus 5, it will be 110. We will get this equation. From that, we can find the AST. Now let us apply the check for minimum AST. For the minimum reinforcement, we will get 168 mm square. It is more than the found AST. In this case, we have to select this AST. Using this formula, we can find the spacing. We know that the spacing should not be more than 300 mm. Let us provide 10 mm diameter bars at the spacing of 300 mm. Now let us apply the check for cracking. First we have to check for minimum AST in both of the directions. We have already done that so it will be safe. Then the diameter of the steel should be less than the overall depth upon 8. Our diameter is 10 mm. It is less than 17.5 so it will be safe. Then the spacing of the steel should not be more than 3 times the effective depth or 300 mm whichever is small. 3 into the effective depth we will get 360. Our spacing is 300 mm. It is not more than 300 mm. So it will be safe. Now let us provide the reinforcement in the edge strips. That will be the minimum AST. We will get 168 mm square. Let us provide 10 mm diameter bars. Using this formula, we can find the spacing. Let us keep the spacing as 300 mm. The spacing of the steel should not be more than 5D or 450, whichever is less. Our spacing is 300, it is less than both of them. So it will be safe. In the question, it is given that the corners are held down. In this case, we have to provide a torsion reinforcement. From the page number 90, we can see that the area of the reinforcement in each of these four layers shall be three quarters of the area. That means three upon four required for maximum midspan movement, which is maximum AST. Also, it should be in four layers. And this reinforcement should be placed in all of the four corners for a minimum distance of one fifth of the shorter span. 262 is the maximum AST. For the area, we will get this. We can provide 6 mm diameter bars. Using this formula, we can find the spacing. We will get 143. We can round that to 140 mm. Now, let us apply the check for your shear stress. Using this formula, we can find tau V. VU, we have already calculated 17.55 kN. We know that kilo is 1000. For tau V, we will get 0.14. Then, we have to find the percentage of steel. We have to use the short span AST, 262. For PT, we will get 0.22. Then, we have to open the page number 73. For 100 AST upon BD, we have got 0.22. For that, we need to find tau C. In the table, there is no value for 0.22. It comes between 0.15 and 0.25. Our FCK is 20. So we have to copy these two values. Using interpolation for 0.22, we will get tau C as 0.336. Then we have to open page number 72. We need to find the value of K. Our overall depth is 140. 
for 150 or less k is 1.3 for tau c k we will get 0.44 tau v is 0.14 tau v is less than tau c k so it will be safe now we are going to apply the check for deflection from the page number 38 we can copy this formula the short span this is the required ast and this is the provided ast for fs we will get this pt we have already calculated 0.22 this is 0.2 so we can keep this point approximately as 0.22 this curve is for 190 our value is 192.9 so we have to extend this line approximately below this curve then we have to make a horizontal line this point is a 2 so the modification factor k is a 2 now for the span to effective depth ratio we have to take the basic value that we can find from the page number 37 our slab is simply supported so the ratio will be 20 for the ratio we have to use the effective span lx upon d will be 20 into the modification factor k in this way for d we will get a 78 millimeter that is less than the effective depth provided so it will be safe here you can see the reinforcement details in this plan for the short span long span and for the edge strips we have given 10 millimeter diameter bars at 300 millimeter center to center spacing let us see how to split into edge strip middle strip and edge strip from the page number 90 we can copy this this is the torsion reinforcement it should be given in all of the four corners but it is not required to show in the diagram this distance and this distance can be lx upon 5 we can make a cross section like this we know that the torsion reinforcement should be in four layers now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video